Uh, well, welcome everyone. Thank you for making it to this uh, event. This is our very first uh, Pinecone and Opto AI developer meeting and events in Seattle. So we're really excited to be partnering with Pinecone. My name is uh, Thierry Moreau and I'm a co-founder at Octo AI. I also run the DevRel team. And at Octo AI, we deliver fast and scalable infrastructure to run Tune and scale, and just in case you forget, run tune and scale. I'm, I'm wearing this as a T-shirt, right? <laughs> just to get the point across. Uh, generative AI models, right? And so we're excited to partner with Pinecone today, and they're obviously one of the leaders in vector databases. Most of you probably have come across their content when you were trying to learn about vector databases or LLMs uh, or RAG. Uh, they're really good at education, technical education around, um, you know. Gemini. And you know, just this week they actually partnered with uh, Andrew Ng's course. Uh, so also check check that out if you want to learn more about Gemini. So a few notes before I dive into the talks today. Uh, upstairs is where you can have pizza, food, beers. There's also bathrooms, right? So feel free to help yourself to some food and drinks, both non-alcoholic and alcoholic. Uh, I'm also I want to remind everyone that we have a code of conduct to make the space welcoming and inclusive to all. So um, we'll, you know, please be mindful of that. And I'm going to switch into today's talks. And I'm going to ask questions to the audience. So I'm all going to ask you to participate and raise your hand because I want people to participate here, right? So the theme for today is about taking LLMs into production. And so let's just do a quick poll here. I want to know out of you all here, how many are developers? How many would you know, would you treat consider yourself as developers here? And uh, you know, please raise your hand up high. Okay, so we got a, a good amount of folks. And you know, this event is not just for developers. You know, we want to be inclusive for everyone. I'm sure many of you are here just to learn about Gen AI, about LLMs, about vector databases. So don't worry, you've come to the right place. But I'm also happy to see that there's a lot of developers here in the audience. I want to know how many of you are in a journey right now to build LLM powered applications. Okay, wow. Well, wow, this is this is really good. Like I, I was thinking like maybe a quarter or a third of people, but like you've come to the right place. This is great to see. Um, I'm happy to hear this. So some of you might be aware then, since you're on this journey, that you know it's again, it's a journey to go from a proof of concept to something that can run at scale in production, right? And there's a lot of pitfalls that you can run into. There's a lot of decision points where you have to go for option A or option B. And thankfully today we have a special set of speakers that can share their wisdom, that can provide information and tips to better guide you on that journey that you're on, whether you're at the beginning, in the middle, or getting close to the end. Um, another question for the audience here, who here hasn't really built any LLM application and just wants to know how to start? Because I asked the other question. Okay, so that's pretty good. All right, well, for, for you folks, you know, we're gonna have a really great talk that's gonna give uh, an introduction on, you know, what is a vector database, what is RAG, how can you get started and build your very first application. We're gonna have a very cool demo featuring Pinecone and Octo AI. And our special guest today is going to be Roy, who's a developer advocate at Pinecone. And this content is going to be very exciting. Uh, I'm having some issues with the mic here, so. Uh, sorry about that. OK, all right, so there's some interference. Sorry about that. But uh, really, retrieval augmented generation is a great way to combat things like hallucinations, right? And when specifically when you're working with uh, Gen AI models, um, you know you want to make sure that the responses that you're getting from, say, a chat bot or Q&A bot are reliable and backed up with actual data that you've connected your uh, LLM application with. And so he's going to tell you how to do this with Pinecone, which is going to be very exciting. Uh, another question for the audience here: Who has built LLM applications and have run into challenges like limited context with? Is that something that resonates with you? Have you run with like problems like the quality doesn't really is is up there, right? Okay, so definitely people who have empathy for these kind of challenges. I'm happy to report that Denise Kutnick, who's uh, the lead of ML uh, product management at Octo AI, is going to give you some tips 
walk you along this journey for building AI apps with context. And that's going to be a very good talk. And finally, another question, and this is my last one, uh, but I'd love to see you all engage with this Q&A. Who here has had a lot of exposure with proprietary LLM solutions from OpenAI, Cohere, and Anthropic? You know, you folks are developing, so I want to know like, who here is on the OpenAI camp, Anthropic, or uh, Cohere? Okay, so it's so a good amount of folks, and, and you know, that's what I would expect. How many people here are on, are on the open uh, source side of things? <laughs> Firm believers in the uh, llama models, the next trial. Okay, it's love to see, it's, it's great to see, see see you folks. And who here are curious? You know, you started on OpenAI and you're like, does it you know the green might uh, the grass may look greener on the other side? And you know, you kind of want to want to test the waters. Okay, so. I'm happy to see this because obviously I'm a little bit biased, right? At OctoAI, we serve open source uh, models behind our endpoints. And uh, so the last speaker, last but not least, Pedro Torilla, who's our developer advocate, he's going to walk you through, give you information that's going to be very useful if you want to do this switch. You know, you're in the proprietary LLM land and you want to migrate over to the wonderful world of open source LLMs. All the consideration you need to have in mind, like quality, trust and safety, scalability, cost, we're going to talk about this. All right, so I've done enough talking. I want to introduce the next speaker, who I haven't mentioned yet, uh, but he's a very special speaker today. And he's going to give a short intro, a short demo uh, featuring robots. So that's up there in terms of how exciting demos can get. Uh, David Pakman, 